1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Good afternoon, I'm Don Boggs, Associate Dean of the College of Agriculture. I wish to thank our bagpiper, Terry Ferguson, a K-State alum, and our organist, Stephen Kachera, a senior in applied music for the processional music. It is now my pleasure to introduce Michael Lee, a graduating senior in animal science and industry from Kansas City, Missouri, to sing our national anthem. Throughout his time at K-State, Michael was actively involved in organizations such as the Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Kappa Alpha Fraternity and the On Spot Improv Troupe. Mike, who seemed to be here. So, Michael has gained work experience as a communications assistant for the Feed the Future Innovation Lab. Please stand as Michael sings our national anthem. Michael. Congratulations, everybody. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Michael. Audience, you may now be seated. Samuel Noss, graduating senior in agronomy from Paola, Kansas, will now share reflections. Sam has been active in many organizations during his time at K-State. He served as president of the Wheat State Agronomy Club and was a member of the National Champion Crops judging team and the College of Agricultural Student Council. Sam is also an Ellis Foundation Scholar and a member of Alpha Gamma Rho Fraternity. Sam has gained professional experience through internships with Monsanto and Dow AgroSciences. After graduation, Samuel plans to return to Paola to work with Kansas, with the Noss Family Farms, LLC as the managing owner. He will also work with Organic Hayes LLC as a managing member focused on forage consulting and production management. I'm pleased to present Sam Noss for Reflections. Sam? Thank you, Dr. Boggs. Where our talents align with the world's needs lies our calling, said the wise Greek philosopher Aristotle. My calling is deeply rooted in the passion I have for K-State, for agriculture, and for my desire to help others. I want to use my talents to make a choice best fit for me and the world around. We are going out into a world filled with many challenges, but realize life is not as scary as it may seem. Life is beautiful, filled with fields of opportunity, ripe for harvest. We have a choice every day to chase our dreams, to follow our hearts, and pursue the opportunities around us. Live each day like it was the last. We have a choice to not be the one who gets to the end and regrets not what one did, but what one didn't do. Have interest in the future, because we are going to spend the rest of our lives there. The Honorable President Abe Lincoln once said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. K-State has prepared you and I for the future. Our years here have given us the knowledge and experience to create our own path to greatness. Our challenge has been finding the balance of class, work, and play. I found that balance, and it has given me the ability to make the right choice for my future. 
I chose to come to this great institution to make friends, to get an education, and leave here ready to follow a path to success. The moments I have mean so much to me, but I think sometimes we never know the true value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Moments like the countless times I was late to an event, procrastinated on an assignment, or forgot about a project. The time friends and I built a potato cannon and I singed my eyebrows off. Or the time friends and I drove back from the bowl game through a blizzard with the windows down because the defroster did not work. Talk about an extreme game of freeze out. And also the moment when I won the national crops judging contest after my team, coach and I spent countless hours preparing. I had the potential and they helped push me to realize it. My time at K-State will hold a special place in my heart. The people, the trips, the hard work, and the little things that matter will be near and dear to me forever. I want to conclude by thanking all who have helped me along the way. Those who push me to do better each and every day to make me a greater person. Graduates, we are going to receive more than a degree today. We are going to receive an opportunity to go on and achieve the unimaginable. Therefore, I challenge you to make the right choice for your future. Thank you. Thank you, Sam, for sharing your reflections. As we begin the program, I will introduce the platform party. I would ask that each of them stand as they are introduced. Please hold your applause until all of them have been introduced. The beginning on my immediate left is Dr. John Floros, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension. Richard Myers, Kansas State University President. Dr. April Mason, Kansas State University Provost and Senior Vice President. John Carlin, Visiting Professor and Executive in Residence, Staley School of Leadership Studies. Dr. Zia Wiley, Assistant Dean, College of Agriculture and Interim Associate Provost of Diversity and Dr. Shannon Washburn, Assistant Dean of Academic Programs. In the second row, first row wants to sit so they can see the second row, thank you. Dr. Alan Featherstone, Head of the Department of Agricultural Economics. Dr. Chris Boone, Head, Department of Communications and Agricultural Education. Dr. Joe Harner, Head of the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. Dr. Gary Pierzynski, Head of the Department of Agronomy. Dr. Candace Shoemaker, Head of the Department of Horticulture and Natural Resources, and Dr. Darrell Buholtz, Associate Director, Extension and Applied Research. Continuing on my immediate right is Sandy Klein, Assistant Dean of Academic Programs, Emily Beneta, a graduating senior in Food Science and Industry, Samuel Noss, graduating senior in Agronomy, Michael Lee, a graduating senior in Animal Science and Industry. Sit. Thank you. Doctor, in the second row is Dr. Ken Odie, Head of the Department of Animal Science and Industry. Dr. Karen Schmidt, Professor and the Undergraduate Teaching Coordinator for Food Science and Industry. Dr. Gordon Smith, Head of the Department of Green Science and Industry. Dr. John Ruberson, Head of the Department of Entomology. And Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association. Please thank me for, uh, thank, help me thank the uh, party for being up here today. To all of you, we're very pleased that you've joined us for the fall 2016 College of Agriculture commencement. Today we are assembled to honor an excellent group of agricultural graduates for their many accomplishments. However, we wish to also acknowledge some of the very important people who made it possible for our graduates to succeed, the family members who are present here today. So at this time, I know we have many spouses and children, parents, siblings, grandparents, even great-grandparents with us today. Will all the family members of, of our graduates please stand and be recognized? At this time, we will recognize and congratulate those students who are graduating with university academic honors. Assistant Dean Shannon Washburn will introduce the honors graduates. Dr. Washburn. 
Students, as I read your names, please stand at your location and remain standing until all in your group have been introduced. Students graduating with an overall GPA of 3.75 and above on at least 60 K-State credit hours are designated cum laude. The cum laude graduates include Austin Jackman, Nathan Smart, Aaron Bush, Tyler Dieters, Sarah Kruger, Emily Beneda, and Anastasia Slow. Please join me in congratulating our cum laude graduates. Please be seated. Graduates who have attained an overall GPA of 3.85 or above are designated magna cum laude. Our magna cum laude graduates include Nathan Alonzo, Samuel Noss, Samantha Liqueur, Michael Kropp, Mark Duncan, Thomas Eisenbarth, Gary Von Breda, and Robert Gray. Please join me in congratulating our magna cum laude graduates. You may be seated. Graduates who have attained an overall GPA of 3.95 or above are designated summa cum laude. Our summa cum laude graduates are Mallory Diekman, Ronald Sullivan, Blake Foraker, Olivia Orth, Caitlin McVeigh, and Tyler Gentry. Please join me in congratulating our summa cum laude graduates. Please be seated. Thank you. Dr. Boggs? Thank you, Dr. Washburn. It's now my pleasure to introduce John W. Carlin as our commencement speaker. John Carlin is a visiting professor and the executive in residence at the Kansas State University Staley School of Leadership Studies. Carlin served on the board of the Kansas Bioscience Authority from 2006 until 2012, the last two years as chairman. For three years, Carlin chaired the Pew Trust Commission on Industrial Farm Animal Production. Its final report was issued in 2008, and it continues to help inform policymakers in Washington on key issues facing agriculture and our food supply. Carlin returned to his home state of Kansas in 2005 after serving 10 years as archivist of the United States. Carlin also served two four-year terms as governor of Kansas, leaving office in January of 1987. He was chairman of the National Governors Association from 1984 to 1985. After leaving public office, he taught at Wichita State University, was involved in two small business ventures, and traveled internationally on behalf of Kansas businesses. Before being elected governor, Carlin served four terms in the Kansas House of Representatives. His last term, he served as Speaker of the House. Carlin has a Bachelor's of Science in Dairy Husbandry from K-State, graduating in 1962 and then returning to the family farm to manage the diverse farming operation and its registered Holstein herd. We're pleased to welcome John Carlin to the podium for his remarks. Mr. Carlin. Thank you, Don. Soon to be graduates, President Myers, Provost Mason, faculty, and maybe as important as anybody, the wonderful family members that are with you all today. It's indeed a pleasure for me, as a graduate of the college, this College of Agriculture, to make brief remarks on this most important occasion. Now, I'm well aware <clears throat> that no one came today to hear this commencement speaker. I've done this many times, and I know that to be a fact. The only time I've ever been really well received was on an occasion at the institution down the river. I took 45 seconds, and I got a standing ovation. Now, I, I won't repeat that exactly today for two reasons. I don't want you to think I, I tried to set you up for a standing ovation, and I actually do have a few things I want to say. First and foremost, congratulations. 
This is a special day, and given the investment you, your family, and banker have made, and, and not just dollar-wise for you and your family, a celebration with family and friends is most appropriate. Second, and you may already know this, but I want to make sure you know that you are graduating from a very special College of Agriculture, one that is recognized and respected as one of the very best at any land-grant institution. Led today by a great dean, Dean Floros, and an excellent faculty, they have built off the strengths from the past to lead this college to new heights. For an example, securing and successfully leading four Feed the Future labs is not only something to be proud of, but will make a difference in feeding a growing and hungry world. This is just one of many major successes that will accompany your resume and be an asset for you in the future. I, I think back to my own experience here and the huge influence those experiences have had upon my life. Working on research with Drs. Ward and Barclay, to mention a couple, and there might be somebody old enough here to remember those two distinguished uh, scientists, learning many skills from my judging team coaches, Dr. Jerry Marion and Dr. Don Good. Whatever success I've had, they and many others at K-State deserve much of the credit. Third, you are heading out into a very complex and often confusing world, a world far more diverse and challenging than certainly it was for me in 1962. The impact of technology and the internet have given us many positives, but as we have experienced in recent times, a much more complicated world as well. I urge you to be good citizens and leaders in your community. Be willing to listen to those who disagree with you. Be willing to compromise for the betterment of society. Gridlock should not become an American value. For there are key issues we must address. At the national level, for an example, working out compromises in appropriate ways, we need to deal with our crumbling infrastructure, the challenges of immigration, and the realities of climate change, to mention only a few. And here in Kansas, adequately funding the basics of government, education, and our highway system as well. And then my final point I want to make is to share an experience two friends of mine had at what was then the twice-monthly boxing matches on Saturday night in Kansas City. One was a priest, the other a rabbi. Now, if memory serves me right, it was the fourth match of the evening, and just before the opening bell, one of the fighters went into his corner and crossed himself, to which my rabbi friend asked, what did that mean? To which the priest said, it doesn't mean a damn thing if he can't fight. My point today for you graduates is that as time goes on, unless you continue to learn and grow in your skills, what we celebrate and value today will quickly diminish. That pressure 50 plus years ago was not on me, but it is certainly on you today. The world is shrinking and becoming more competitive every day. Take continued learning very seriously, and I assure you, you will never regret doing so. But for this day, be proud, celebrate with your friends and family, and I all, always certainly wish you the very best with the hope that you will not only have great success, but that you will remember this College of Agriculture as a continuing source of help and a college 
that could use your support and help as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. Emily Benita, graduating senior in food science and industry, was selected to, to deliver the graduate address. During her time at K-State, Emily was president of the College of Ag Ambassadors, a member of the Blue Key Senior Honorary, and a member of the Student Alumni Board. Emily was a College of Agricultural Student Governing Association Senator and served as the president of the Kansas FFA Association. She gained work experience interning with Estancia El Cuarto Vineyard in Chile and Cargill Animal Nutrition. Emily also worked in academic programs office for the College of Agriculture. After graduation, Emily is joining Cargill's Animal Nutrition Management Associates program in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. I'm pleased to present Emily DeBenita for the graduate address. Emily? This past week, I asked a few of my fellow graduates to describe how they felt about today in one word. Here's what they have to say. Excitement, joy, relief, unprepared, denial, happy. December 10th, 2016, the day we finally walk across this stage and get to say that our investment of time, money, sweat, blood, and tears was actually all worth it. For some, this day came too quickly, and for others, not fast enough. The emotions we are experiencing today will be different for everyone, yet they sum up our time here on campus. They sum up the early 7.30 a.m. classes and studying at Hale or Weber Library. They sum up football games in the bill and hours spent on research or traveling to judging events, hours of laughter and memories, hours spent maybe working some extra shifts at work, or hours spent volunteering in the Manhattan community. We've done a lot during our time here at K-State, but we aren't quite finished yet. In fact, we are just beginning. Our beginning is full of uncertainty and questions, yet it is a new adventure leading us to these many emotions that we're feeling today. After today, we enter a new phase of life. With the exception of graduate school, we enter a world where there are no professors. There are no professors asking us to think more critically, no professors with open door policies, and no professors sitting there to challenge us. Instead, it's up to us to begin asking ourselves those critical questions. It's up to us to challenge ourselves and to go out and learn more than we are taught. Ultimately, it's up to us to ask ourselves the question, what more can I do? What more can I do to serve, to improve, and to change? Luckily, here at K-State, we've been surrounded with a culture of people who are constantly asking and wanting to do more people who share similar values and passions for this incredible industry, and people who have become our family. We hold doors open for each other, we say thank you, and we strike up conversations with strangers, and we care for those around us. Just this past semester, there was a fire at Founders Hill Apartments that affected students in the College of Agriculture. Thanks to the efforts of our Ag Council and many other clubs and organizations in the College of Ag, over $5,000 was raised to assist those students in need. This is just one example of how amazing our support system is here at K-State, and a perfect example of how here in the College of Agriculture, we have deans, professors, and other students who are constantly asking themselves, what more can I do? What more can I do to improve the lives of those around me? What more can I do to serve? And now it's our turn. Ask yourself first, what am I doing well? And then ask, what more can I do? Some of us may have already accepted a position within a company, Ask yourself every day, what more can I do to contribute? What more can I do to take initiative? Maybe you're pursuing postgraduate opportunities. Ask yourself, what more can I do to learn? And what more can I do to impact my, my university? And all of us at some point will have a hometown someday, maybe returning to our own or starting up a new home in a new one. Ask yourself, what more can I give back to my community? And what more can I do to help my neighbor? These questions can be easy to avoid. It's easy to avoid change and it's easy to avoid sacrificing more. But in an industry with so many unanswered questions, we cannot settle. We have future questions to face such as, 
How will we continue feeding the world growing population with fewer resources? Here in Kansas, how will we adapt to a depleting aquifer? And how will we continue to advocate for the industry that we all love while future generations become even more separated from production agriculture? These questions and many more have no answers. Not yet. But we are soon to be graduates of Kansas State University. Even better, we're soon to be graduates of the College of Agriculture. We understand what it means to lend a helping hand to initiate change and to solve problems. So let's continue asking ourselves, what more can we do? This is not a question with a simple answer. It's not an answer given to us by a professor, and it can't be Googled. This answer solely depends on you. So what more will you do? Once we step across this stage as graduates of the Kansas State College of Agriculture, remember your experiences here. Remember the incredible friends and the support system that we've had to make us who we are today. And most importantly, remember what it means to serve, to improve, and change. Go out, show the world what it means to be a graduate of Kansas State University, and constantly ask, what more can I do? Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Before we proceed to the degree ceremony, we're pleased to have Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association, to bring special greetings on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association. Amy? Thank you, Dr. Boggs. I'm pleased to be part of your special day and offer congratulations on behalf of over 182,000 living K-State graduates who will be your lifelong family. Today, as you receive your degree, we are honored to recognize you and all you have accomplished. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to inspire and, excuse me, and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of the Wildcat community. I would like to share three of our core values that guide us in our mission to keep you connected with Kansas State. The first one is LINK. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni events held on campus, around the country, and even internationally. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions as you sing the alma mater or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. The third core value is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride and connection. When you see some wearing, someone wearing purple, a K-State class ring, or even showing off their K-State Power Cat license plate, you will feel that sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Agriculture and the Alumni Association providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the Alumni Association. Enjoy the membership benefits and continue to be an active member. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, our membership ranks in the top five in the country for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared worldwide by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you earn your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association is also pleased to present you with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to let us know. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats. Thank you, Amy. Graduates, we have a few additional announcements before the degree ceremony. The College of Agriculture is pleased to provide a complimentary five by seven professional photograph of your graduation. One photo will be taken on stage and a second photo will be taken by the backdrop at the rear of the seating area. Please pause and turn toward the camera to make sure you're ready for your photo when you get your diploma cover. Family members, if you want to take pictures, you may do so from, the, from behind the roped areas around the edge of the floor seating. Please refer to your commencement program, pages 39 to 40, for the order in which graduates will be recognized. Graduates majoring in agribusiness through wildlife and outdoor enterprise management are seated on the west side and will cross the stage from west to east. And the remaining graduates are seated on the east side and will cross the stage from east to west. Please prepare for your photo just before your graduate approaches the stage and then return to your seat so others can access the area. 
It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. John Floros, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension, and invite him to the podium for the conferral of degrees. Dean Floros. Would all the graduates now please rise for conferral of degrees. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon recommendation by the faculty and upon completion of all degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the prospective degrees that you have earned at Kansas State University. Graduates, please move your tussles to the left side of the mortarboard. Please join me congratulating. At this time, college administration will prepare for the diploma cover presentations. The department heads will present diploma covers to each graduate and they, as they cross the stage. I also invite K-State President Richard Myers and Provost April Mason to join me in congratulating the graduates as they cross the stage. Thank, thank you, Dean Floros. I will now introduce the graduates for individual recognition on the stage and presentation of diploma covers. We will proceed in order by major as listed in your program on pages 39 to 40. I would like to thank our faculty marshals, Drs. Kim Williams, Laurie Baker, Mickey Ransom, Dave Nichols, Barry Bradford, Anita Dilley, who will assist you in directing who will assist in directing you to and from the stage. It is now my privilege to introduce Dr. Alan Featherstone, head of the Department of Agricultural Economics, who will present diploma covers to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness and the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agricultural Economics. Macy Nicole Adams. Nathan James Alonso. Mitchell Gail Bomshin. Matthew Dale Clements. Lauren, Grayson Lawrence Coonrod. Sean Michael Chrysler. Ethan Robert Diedrich. Brock Andrew Ellis. Travis Dalton French. Jacob Isaac Gates. Austin Clark Jackman. Denver Scott Johnston. April Lane Josserand. John Anderson Cruz. Ty Allen Larson. Nicholas Lawrence Lawson. Jacob Charles Nelson. Caitlin Nicole Pryor. Jeffrey Rosted. Maria Alejandra Ramirez Lopez. Gabrielle Marie Reeves. Jared Edward Robison. Grayson Ann Rockers. Ronald Leo Sullivan Jr. Allison Elizabeth Sutter. Gavin Leith Swearingen. Jacob Landon Wagner. Woo! 
At this time, we will present the degrees uh, for the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Economics. Elizabeth Nicole Brockelman. Trenton Michael Gaw. Brian Hellman. Taylor James Mater. Austin Stevens Pitts. John Paul Carl Seibert. Nathan Michael Smart. Cassidy Stemper. I am pleased to introduce Dr. Chris Boone, head of the Department of Communications and Agricultural Education, who will present diploma covers to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agricultural Communications and Journalism. Brittany Lauren Blum. Samantha Marie Capone. Mallory Rose Diekman. Audrey Nicole Green. Emily Drew Vilasek. Emily Louise Ryder. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Joe Harner, head of the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering, who will present to, de present to degrees receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agricultural Technology Management. Kyle Robert Barton. Mark Anthony Duncan. Colton Dane Easterberg. Thomas C. Eisenbarth. Justin James Malloy. Next, Dr. Gary Przinski, head of the Department of Agronomy, will present to the graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agronomy. Morgan Burke. Jessica Ann Bramhall. Aaron Lee Bush. Hannah Lynn Korpstein. Tyler Thomas Dieters. Marianne Eaton. Jacob Alexander Glavin. Samuel Ewing Noss. Samantha Janelle LeCure. Saul Miller. Jackson Luke Moss. Caleb Scott Perkins. Blake Allen Reinecke. Zachary Allen Spiegel. Alan Jacob Venjohn. Jenny Joe Whitehair. Next, Dr. Candace Shoemaker, head of the Department of Horticulture, Forestry, and Recreational Resources, will present to graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science degree in Agriculture with majors in Horticulture, Park Management and Conservation, and Wildlife and Outdoor Enterprise Management. Egypt Emini Edwards. Eric, Eric Michael Grant. Patrick Ryan Hackathorn. Dalton Lee Langford. Caitlin Marie McVeigh. Josiah Zachary J. Rokey. Nolan Lee Stark. 
Taylor R. Warnick. The next set of graduates will be earning a degree of Bachelor of Science in Park Management and Conservation. Robert Scar Scott Gray. Jared Wayne Ireland. Anastasia Marie Slow. Matthew Daniel Subzinski. Stephen William Torpy. The following graduates will earn a Bachelor of Science with a degree in Wildlife and Outdoor Enterprise Management. Dustin Luke Bayliss. Scott Allen Blake. Tyler Glenn Gentry. James Marshall Hill. Joseph Prudhomme, the third. Jacob Lee Winkle. We will now pause to change sides and introduce the remaining graduates, starting with graduates in animal sciences and industry. It is now my privilege to introduce Dr. Ken Odie, head of the Department of Animal Sciences and Industry, who will present to graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Animal Sciences and Industry. Rustin Cole Artery. Kane Elza Austin. Seth Lee Bartlett. Thomas William Harold Benton. Jesse Tony Burney. Corey Meyer Craver. Michael Stephen Krop. Hannah Ray DeVos. Nicole Jean Donovsky. Janae Christine Fisher. Blake Austin Forker. Hope Elizabeth Gates. Skyler John Glenn. Emily Ann Gray. Jordan Leslie Green. Katherine Sarah Harper. Taylor Morgan Harrison. Brandy Lorray Harrington. Tanner Allen Jekyll. Courtney Lynn Jenkins. Chandra Lynn Johnson. Whitney Cheyenne Jones. Amanda Joyce Catherines. Danielle Diane Kemper. Brandon Robert Kerwin. Mary Kadivi. Olivia Simone Cotri. Sarah Angeline Kruger. Michael Ross Lee. Annalie Gabrielle Lemon. Lane Emerald Littlejohn. 
Antoinette Elaine Lona. Shayla Lynn Lowry. Allison Lynn Manchester. Lindsay Marie Mansfield. Keith Jacob Mitnich. Jordan Rochelle Mills. Stacy Nicole Nicholas. Jared Michael Nicholson. Ashley on Ashley Ann Allendyke. Brady Joseph Perkins. Sarah Perrin. Rachel R. Robertson. Marie Amy Ruiz. Jennifer Louise Schwanke. Katie Lynn Seaman. Kelvin Scott Schinliver. Marche Slaughter. Ashley Antonia Smith. Taylor Nicole Smith. Kiana Marie Stewart. Courtney Nicole Stover. Elizabeth Lynn Steubenhofer. Adrian Jacob Teasley. Jarek Allen Van Petten. Andy Page Waite. Matthew Thomas Waybright. Risa Leanne Wicker. Shelby Marie Whiteharm. Anna Lee Williamson. Courtney Patrice Woodall. Next, Dr. Karen Schmidt, Professor and Chair of Food Science and Industry Undergraduate Programs, will now present to the graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Industry. Emily Ann Bedwell. Emily Faye Beneda. Daniel James Voyanovsky. Emma Marie Knox. Owen Toomey Moore. Olivia Rose Orth. Georgia Elizabeth Pate. Stephen Douglas Ross. Natalie Rubio. Gary Sean Funbretta. Jesus Santiago Velasco. Caitlin Brittany Aguirre. Rajar Hu. Next, Dr. Gordon Smith, head of the Department of Grain Science and Industry, will present to the students receiving Bachelor of Science degrees in Bakery Science and Management and Feed Science and Management. We'll begin with the students in Bakery Science and Management. Christina Marie Law. Alicia Lurks. 
Zachary Philip Ray. Talia Ray Seepy. Lacey Brianne Tipton. Kendall Ray Walton. Haley Rochelle Wireman. Jai Joe. We will now present to the students in feed science and management. Rebecca M. Downey. David Michael Weedmeyer II. Dr. Boggs, that concludes our diploma presentations. Graduates, commencement is not about the end, but rather the beginning. The beginning of new careers, for some of you new families, and for all of you a new stage in your lives. You can be proud to be a graduate of Kansas State University, the first land-grant university in the nation. But we do have a few expectations of you as a K-State College of Ag alum. First, we expect you to capitalize on your education and the training you have received to make valuable contributions in your careers and to your professions as well as to continue your professional development as a lifelong learner. Secondly, we expect you to build upon the outstanding record of citizenship, philanthropy, and service that you have established at K-State by becoming outstanding members of the communities to which you relocate to start your careers or to continue your schooling. Get involved and be engaged in community activities. They need your talents and your leadership skills. And finally, what truly makes the College of Agriculture great is the involvement and expectations of our alumni. Thus, we expect you to keep bleeding purple, to stay involved with K-State, and to continue to challenge us to be the best we can be. I'm confident that I speak for all of the faculty, staff, and administrators when I say that it has truly been our privilege to contribute to your education and be a part of your lives these last few years. We're very proud of you, and we wish you the very best. Would everyone please join me in congratulating one more time our graduating seniors. <laughs> Thanks to all of you for participating in this special occasion for our graduates. We ask that you remain seated during, during the formal recessional. The graduates will follow the stage party to the rear of the floor seating and up the far north stairs to the concourse area. We ask that families then exit immediately behind your section and meet the graduates on the upstairs concourse. This will help us clear the floor for the next ceremony that follows. Thank you once again to our musicians for sharing your musical talents and to Sam Noss, John Carlin, and Emily Benedict for speaking at our ceremony today. Again, my congratulations and best wishes to the graduates. And for our adjournment, would you everyone please rise and join in as Michael Lee leads us in singing the K-State alma mater. <laughs>